What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Oblivion. And what we are doing today, other than getting really, really wet and probably tempting lightning to shock the shit out of us in our nice plate mail armor, is what we're going to do, we're going to do the uh, Grey Prince quest, which is one of the quests that uh, a lot of folks have been asking me to do. So we found that orc that was supposedly one of the noble's uh, son or whatnot, and he kind of got thrown out on his ass. Nobody really believes that he is the, the prince. And so we need to get out here and see if we can't figure out, uh, you know, some proof that he is who he claims to be. Now, uh, the nice thing about Oblivion, why is there a horse over here? Can I ride this horse? Um, is it thievery if I ride this horse? Because it's just standing here. I'm going to assume it's okay. Wait, whoa. Okay, so riding a horse in Oblivion is way different than riding a horse in Skyrim. Good to know. Alright, so basically uh, you can quick travel to any main town that uh, is available. You can't travel to some of the side areas. So what we did, uh, let me pull up the map real quick. We were way up here at uh, the Imperial area. We quick traveled down here to Anvil. And now we're on our way to Crowhaven, which is apparently off here to the left. And I apparently just uh, Grand Theft Auto horsed some poor bastard. GTH'd his ass. Now apparently the guys in the stream are telling me that I just stole this dude's horse. But you can't really steal a horse that's by itself out in the middle of nowhere, right? Alright, can we get off this thing now? Um, what the hell? What the fuck is that? I like how a wolf just decided to attack me out here in, you know, the middle of fuck all. Alright. It's also nice to see that my horse didn't decide to become Rambo and just start, you know, what the fuck owning things. Dude! I do not know who runs this place, but they really... Oh, it's a ghost! And, or not a ghost, a, a skeleton. Bye bye. Uh, oh shit! I didn't realize there were more of them. That kind of changes things. Ah! Yeah, he didn't like that digi skeleton. Uh, we'll take the bone meal. I don't think I really need the arrows. Good god, dude! There's a lot of little bastards in here. Um. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh shit. Okay, I thought he blocked it for a second. I was about to get mad. Alright, moving on. So, I need to go in there, which makes sense. But we're going to go ahead and check and make sure there's nothing upsta upstairs that uh, might be cock-blocking us. Now, uh, a lot of you guys have mentioned there's certain quests you guys want me to do. Just understand that I've never played Oblivion before. And my goal is to play pretty much everything very similar to the Skyrim Let's Play that we're doing. So if there's a quest that's in an area nearby where I'm at and you'd like me to do it, feel free to let me know. Um, and if I miss something, always feel free to let me know. But hopefully I'll get to everything. We're going to do all the DLC, etc, etc. So... I will do my best not to leave anything out, and I'm sure you guys will let me know if I miss anything. You guys are usually pretty good about that. There's a chest over here, conspicuously. With a little gold in it. <laughs> it's nice to see that the Oblivion chests are as empty as the Skyrim chests. That was one of the things I was always worried about. Is uh, in Skyrim, you know, you got these people who are locking up these massive chests with, you know, like four gold in it. 
It seems that they got that uh, from their Oblivion roots. It's it's not just a Skyrim thing. All right. Let us see what we've got in here. I have entered Crowhaven somewhere inside. I will unlock the truth that Argonach Grow Malog is searching for. I should be cautious, however. The fort has long since lost its noble trappings, and the presence of evil is unmistakable. Malog. Maylog Ball. Maybe we'll get an awesome uh, mace in here for some reason. I'm gonna have to get that on the shaman. I think that will be absolutely badass for the shaman. This big old dick beater stick. Oh, why are there wolves here? This doesn't make a lot of sense. Wolves should not be inside a fort. Oh, these are fucking badass wolves! Oh shit! that are apparently can't maneuver oh. through a hallway. Dude. Oh my god! Okay. I just got my ass kicked by a fucking wolf. Well, technically in my defense, two wolves. Second death in Oblivion. Brilliant. Um. Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. Uh, wow. Well. I'm going to save a little further up. Well, I kind of expected there to be dogs there. Okay, I don't like that. Damn, but I don't like getting fucking gnawed on. Dude, they're fucking healing! How are they healing? That's fucking bullshit, dude. Wolves can't fucking heal. Right, that one's dead. No? Oh my god, I'm getting fucking murdered by wolves! How are they fucking healing themselves? Okay. We're going to change things up. We're going to use a silver longsword and our shield. That should give us a little bit more defense. And we're going to stick with this. Let's see what we can do. Alright, there's one. We got one dog by himself. Oh. Ah. Dude, they're fucking healing, like, as they beat on me. Yeah, I don't think I can beat these little shits. Oh, God. Heal. Oh, I was trying to get around, little fuckers. Well, it seems like I get almost close to killing one of these little things, and then they kill me. So these these are definitely not normal wolves. Um, I may have to blow skooma to get through these, and I really don't want to, because I wanted to save it for the... Uh, what about this? I got one by himself. Damn, fucking Timberwolf, baby. Okay, stop interrupting me. And fucking die, you little shit. Man's best friend, my fucking ass. Oh my god. These little fucking dogs are evil, dude. And I'm in fucking full steel uh, mail, too. I, I don't understand. Fucking god dogs, man. Alright, oh. Okay, he's looking the other way. We're gonna go ahead and save. Oh, that was bad. Okay, aiming way above.
Uh, okay. Wow, that was a lot easier. It's almost like the, it's almost like they were being protected by some kind of spell or something. Oh, it was a different dog. Okay, this is going a little bit better. A lot better, actually. All right, so I guess it was just, I guess it was just the duo that was the problem. All right, there we go. Saving. Uh, for those of you guys asking what happened to Twitch, we were only on Twitch because um, the hashed stream server was down. Now that the hashed stream server is up, we are back here. All right, well, let me take a look at my items and see. Maybe everything's banged up. God, dude, that thing looks badass. <sighs> If I was blade spec, I would totally use that shit. Unfortunately, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason to even repair the... Oh, here we go. This is probably why we were getting beat up. My gloves are just completely broke. Damn. Repairing some of this stuff is rough. I'm just gonna go ahead and max this stuff out since I have plenty of hammers. So I can get my skill up a bit, because that's one of the main skills that affects my actual levels. Alright, resaving. Now that we've repaired everything. Um I don't see anything over here in the dark. All right. Dude, this place looks creepy as hell. I will give it to them. They've done a real good job on the dungeons, though. They feel confining, dark, and nasty, and I, I really like... I don't know. I, I like a dungeon actually being made of, like, stone and stuff, because that kind of makes sense to me, you know? Like, that's kind of what you'd find here. Oh, it's a little rat. Ah! Ah! I'm not going to loot that. There's no reason to take it. Uh, is there anything good in any of these? Maybe? Uh, some gold. I'm not sure why you'd bury somebody with gold. Shit, take, take all my money when I die, because I don't need it. Give it to my family. Alright, what do we got? Well, at least we got some lights. Um, we got a rather creepy looking door to the right and a pretty imposing looking door here on the left. Go ahead and save before we come through here and see what we got. Ha! Dude, that... Did you see the fucking afro on that, that rat? He had a glorious mane, dude. That thing was that thing was meticulous. All right, it does seem like what we're supposed to get is through here. Open with Agronach's mysterious key. So this is where we were supposed to be. Before we go any further, I'm going to backtrack just a little bit because I want to see what's up back here on the left. I am a little curious. This totally looks like a secret door. All right, what do we got on here? Because this is in a different direction, and I don't want to get too far away. Oh, we just left. Wait, what does this go to? Hmm. Oh, shit, another wolf. I fucking hate wolves. I don't think bow is one of my main skills, is it? No, it's not. Why am I using bow? Yeah, fuck this. I'm not using bow. Um, there we go. Ah! <laughs> not so badass now, are you, dog? 
who let the dogs out? Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, I burned him up after I let him out. Ha! Ha! Yeah, it was pretty lame, even for me. Dude, these things ha! attack fast. Oh! What the hell is that? Um, can I kill this thing? Oh. Ow. Your attack has no effect. Okay. Well, that's working. Okay, so silver weapons are the only ones that can affect ghosts. Good to know. Unfortunately, I am not a blade specialist, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of damage with the Blueberry. But I guess damage is damage. Ectoplasm. Yeah, I plan on looting that. Looks like it has a pretty good value. Alright! We have a chest over here. A chesticle. I'll take that. Can't loot anything there. And I'm assuming this area is a mirror. Because if you look over here, I believe there's another message or another pathway down. This is a dead end, except for a chest, which is some gold. So this is just a little small side area for some loot. All right, we'll come over here. We'll get our hot loot from over in this direction with another angry ghost. What the fuck is that? Oh, damn it. Me and my damn hotkeys. I'm not sure what that is off in the distance. It looks like a person. And I don't know if it's friendly or not. It does seem to know that I'm here. And the fact that it hasn't tried to kill me yet is a good sign. So I'm assuming it's friendly. So switch to healing. Let's go ahead and save here and let's go meet uh, me. What the hell? I take it you're not friendly. Nope, not friendly. Dude, this scamp is badass! Okay, scamp's dead. And apparently I'm fixing to join him, because this little fucker is hitting me hard. Okay. Well, Vamp was rather squishy. That's one thing I do like about this game, is it does seem to make the uh, the spellcasters actually weak, which is something I really like. Okay, um, Dark Shirt has absolutely no value. The Steel Curious has a lot of value. Uh, 40, 50, 60, 75, that's going to put me at exactly my weight. So, I'm over in comfort. Wait, was that a chick? It's a fucking chick. Alright, I'm going to keep my longsword for now. Um, we just need to get rid of a little bit of weight. Just a very, very, very small amount. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this bone meal. Because it does me no good. Because it's stolen. And it has no value. You know, obviously, if you can't loot something, or can't sell it, then regardless of the value, until I join the Thieves Guild, it does me no good. So we're going to go ahead and drop it 
Alright, so we've gone through there and figured out what's going on in that area. Let's head back up here and see what we've got actually towards the quest location. Now, I've been told by some of the folks in the stream chat that the reward for this quest is supposedly pretty badass. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm also contemplating using the carry cheat for, uh, for this game as well, considering it's one of those things that I absolutely despise. Just the carry weight seems to be a little counterproductive to me. Uh, I don't know what the command is for it on Oblivion. I'm sure somebody will be nice enough to tell me, but uh, I am strongly considering using it just because it'll make my life easier. Having to deal with carrying weight all the time is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh god. <laughs> Wait. I have not eaten it. What? Decade. You will be my feast! Oh god, dude, I just col I just collected the fucking disease of death. Food. Oh god. Ah, so hungry. You know what? Oh, whoops, wrong button. So hungry. Ah, oh. Hey, come at me, bro. Not eaten in decades. You will be my feast. <gasps> no, I won't. I'm gonna get your skull on you, fucking naked dude. Ha! Oh god. Ha! Oh, dude, you didn't like that, did you? You little hissing fucker. And game over. Fucking hell. Okay, so now that I have Vampirism, which I'm assuming is what that spell is, it's kind of interesting. The spell here has a completely different name. Where's my effects? Uh, I don't see it. Those are my powers. All right, well, I've contracted vampirism of some kind, or some disease. Porphic hemophilia. So I have to figure out how to cure this damn thing. Do I have a cure disease potion? Maybe that'll do it? It's not a poison, it's a cure disease. All right. What do we got here? Just a bunch of books. A letter. I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more than flowers need sunshine. So I'm thinking she got rid uh, or that was either the dude's uh, mistress. Okay, that's gonna be fast. That's up. That's up. That's really up. Fast. There we go. I'm actually getting pretty good at that now. Alright. So that dude was up here forever. So anyways, I think he contracted vampirism and then got rid of his mistress to keep her from catching it. That's an idea. Oh, apparently I didn't loot the guy back here. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. God, I am slow as hell! Alright, we'll run over here. I'm an idiot. Empire Dust. Gold. Silver Ring. That's all he's got. He doesn't have anything else. It's just his dagger. There is nothing there. Oh, apparently I'm running slow because I'm close to max weight. Alright. 
So we've searched all the stuff here. It's l telling me to go right over here. So I'm assuming this is what I'm supposed to get. Journal of Lord so-and-so. We'll just go ahead and take it. And then we're going to pick this lock. Cause... Fuck. There we go. Damn it! There we go. Nightshade. Um, you can keep it. I don't need it. Alright, so that's what we're here for. I've discovered the Journal of Lord Leviticus. It does indeed contain information about Argonic Gromylog's birth, but proves he was the spawn of a vampire. Agronach won't be happy to hear this, but it is proof he wanted. I must take this journal to him at the Imperial City Arena Bloodworks. So we've got to find our way out of here. I'd really hoped there'd be a faster way out, but uh, it doesn't seem, unless there's one over here. Nope. We're going to have to actually run our way back out of here, which is a very sad, sad thing considering how fast I am moving. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead so you streamer, or so you on YouTube do not have to watch and... Uh, see me creep along and we'll pick up once we get to uh, to town all right so we traveled to town we went over to the merchant that sells uh components we bought some mandrake and then ate the mandrake and everyone on the stream is telling me that that supposedly cured me i'm not sure if it's true if we turn into a vampire soon then well we'll know you've returned so have you been to crawhaven have you What's this? The Journal of Lord Leviticus? That's My friend, it. you've done it! This is wonderful news. The words of Lord Leviticus himself. Perfect. Ah, I believe I owe you something, eh? Here, let me well, show you Usually this moves. is the part I would say, show Step me your like hot this. sister, but... Now strike! All right, pretty now sure parry. I'm not interested. That's it! There you are. Some of the best combat moves you'll ever learn. You'll need them if you want to last more than five seconds against me in the arena. Mm, great. Now, let's see what this journal says. Huh. Ah, interesting. But... I... I... Wait. Can this be? But... By Shinji. I'm the son of a vampire. Yep. And but ugly. Too. I'm no gray prince. I'm the spawn of evil. I thought my father was a nobleman, not some blood-sucking monster. I, ca I can't... Uh, all a lie. A lie. You poor thing. Alright, so he taught me some moves or something? Because... I didn't feel like I didn't get any skill up messages or anything, so I'm guessing he just gave me skill. Which is kind of a bummer. I was kind of hoping for something special and like maybe some fireworks or something, but um, nothing real major happened, so. Oh well. Sad face. Anyways, that pretty much completes that quest line. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.